Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. In the last episode, we got our hands on the Wither's Compass. Oh, and it gives us Wither. Um, <laughs> fair enough. All right, uh, sure. Okay, cool. Um, but we've got it, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we have all of the main ingredients to make an ATM star. If I click here and I click here and we hover over it, as you can see, we have um, all the middle parts except for the Patrick star. And then we have to get all the bits on the outside. Now, I, I kind of forgot about those parts. It might be it might be a few more episodes before, before we have the star. I thought we were going to make it this episode. Um, there's also the Star Forged version where you can see the ingredients a little bit more easily, I guess. And oddly enough, oh no, you need liquid nether star. I was going to say, I don't see how this works, but um, the nether star's down there. That makes sense. Um, but this, I mean, we're not doing that yet. <laughs> we're not doing that possibly ever, but at least at the very least, we're not doing that yet. Um, so what are we doing this episode? Wonderful question. I'm glad you asked. Well, the first thing that we don't have is if we check the quests and we click on this quest here, mob farming, it informs us that we need 98,415 nether stars to make the star. We currently have 73,632 and rising. Not rising fast, but it is rising. Now, there are a few ways to go about getting um, those nether stars. Now, the book suggests that mob farming is the way to do it. It's one of the best ways. Um, so, essentially, you kill... I think you need to kill six withers with the, um, you know, the mo model framework thing. Sure. Um, and then from there... What do you do? <laughs> um, from there, it will just slowly but surely make you uh, predictions like what we've got over here. So one of these guys will process. He'll go, um, where is it? Oh, it's all full. Wait, there we go. So it, it'll take this long, no matter what. And then eventually, if you have it at 100%, you'll get a guaranteed nether star. Cool, sure, sure. Um, alternatively, you can grow it with mystical agriculture. That's probably... I'd, I'd imagine the best way to do it. You can use alchemistry. We had a sort of setup like this in the past, but that's not really the best way to go about it. Um, there's some interesting stuff here that you could do. There is another though. Oh, there's also inert nether stars. And if we put some uh, antimatter in, we get actual nether stars. This might not be too bad because we have this stuff all automated. That could be a fun way to do it. What is an inert nether star though? An inert nether star is ethylene, water, and a wither skeleton skull. Huh. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? That doesn't seem that bad. There's also the option to use neutron gas. Oh, so the extra stuff you can put back in to make more. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why am I tempted to do that? How difficult would that be? So the, the skulls, that's not a problem. We've got pretty much infinite skulls. That's fine. And then it's just ethylene. And then time. Okay, ethylene's not bad either. Ethylene is biofuel and height. So it's all water and biofuel. And biofuel is just like food. So you just set up like a, a farm. Just the most simple farm ever. And you're and you set for that. But it, well, yeah. But then the, the only follow-up question is just how much does... It says it uses one millibucket of antimatter. Um, in terms of antimatter, we have 88 pellets. That is likely more than we will ever need. Just, just to put it simply, it's likely more than we will ever need. But on top of that, I think we can tell this system over here to stop doing that. We can say, hey, we've, uh, we've actually got enough pellets. So that's happening here. That's where the pellets are going. Like it, yeah, it builds up enough to make a pellet. Let's go ahead and, <laughs> and not input from the top. What is it? Is it a gas or is it a slurry? <laughs> what, wait, wait, what, what pipe is this? That is a pressure tube. Okay, so it is a gas. So is that what I did? Yeah, okay. So it, it won't receive gas, but it still says it's connected. This guy, we can tell him that he can accept gas. And so the antimatter should start building up in here. As you can see, we make a miller bucket every almost second, I guess. So if that nether star is accurate in this recipe, then it's one miller bucket for 16. So if we're producing 16, a second, then we'll be essentially making 16 a second. That's like what we can do. That's our current limitation with our whole setup. 
Um, and so, what would that be? Well, let's do a little bit of quick math. Let's do 16, so that's per second. And we're going to times that by a minute. So we'd have 960 a minute. We times that by 60 to get the hour. We would have 57,600 proper nether stars in an hour. Two hours, we're done. We have the we have enough for the ATM star. That sounds really good. <laughs> we'll look, look, look. We'll look into it. We'll, we'll, we'll probably end up doing that. The follow-up I wanted to do, though, and my original plan for the episode was eh, a little bit messier. I was going... <laughs> I was going to make this system faster, believe it or not, because look at this. I mean, guys, that can be faster. That can be so much faster, surely. Surely that could be the fastest thing on the planet. Um, but currently it's not. <sighs> okay, so in terms of nether stars per second, if we look in here and we just get a rough estimate, it's pretty rough. It's not the greatest. Our, our better um, vision of it would be this guy. Pretty much every single time this ticks, we get another star. That's r roughly how it works. And this guy has an ETA of two seconds. Um, so yeah, we're getting like another star every two seconds. Sometimes every one second. Versus 16 a second. And you know what? The other system, it's not going to be as laggy as well. Let, let, let's... <laughs> As tempting and fun as it would be to do that, we won't. We won't. Um, but what we'll also do is we'll see. There's been a few updates to the spawners. Let's see if we can spawn a, a wither. Let's see. Because we made this spawn egg a while ago, but we never got to really use it because we were too late. Yeah. It doesn't work. Okay. It was, <laughs> listen, it's worth a try. You never know when someone accidentally changes the setting back and you get to, <laughs> you get to live a, a wonderful life. Okay. Um... Yeah, let, let's do the, the mechanism thing. That sounds really, honestly, easy. Um, okay, so what I'll do is I'll probably build it. I guess we've got the antimatter over here. So it like, kind of makes sense to do it over here. Um, cool. So <laughs> what do we need? Well, first things first, we need PRCs. Um, pressurized reaction chambers, which we don't have. Um, here they are. We don't have them book... Uh, uh, okay, let's return to the base and add a recipe. Uh, I don't know, it seems like a weird thing that we don't have. But allegedly we don't. That is A-OK. -okay. Chuck that in there. Um, so, let's... Oh, hold on. Let's also get the... <laughs> let's get the actual bookmarks happening. Um, so that we know exactly what we need. So we're making inert nether stars. Which need a PRC. And then ethylene. And we can split it up into... Two. So what's going on here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't, I wasn't looking correctly. This is insane. One wither skull turns into an inert nether star with the neutron gas. And then you just put them both in the exact same thing again. And you get 16 of them. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So yeah, one process makes 16 and that's, that's going to be making them a second. Okay, cool. We, what? This, hold on. This, this all just seems, this seems insane. <laughs> all right, let's go, let's go pressurized reaction chamber. I know we need at least two. Um, the follow up here is going to obviously be that we need ethylene. That's, that's the next main part here is that we need ethylene. We're getting that from another PRC. So I will need a third. Um, we'll need biofuel and hydrogen. So that's, that's fine. The biofuel we'll get from a crusher. Um, and I don't even know what we're going to crush, but we'll crush something, I'm sure. Um, and the hydrogen we will get from an electrolytic separator. And then that that's easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cool. So um, let's go ahead. Get the third PRC happening. Um, I'll order some of this stuff. So we'll get like an ultimate crusher for this. Um, and then an electrolytic separator. Cool. If we go upgrades, we'll grab energy speeds. I don't know if we need gas, but we'll bring it with. I, I never really know which machines are going to use it. Uh, and then, I think I think we're good. I think we just go and magically do it. Uh, the, the only other thing is the biofuel. What do we want to use? Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful question. Now, I know that you can like get a melon and split it into melon slices and you get so much. But like we probably don't need to be that meticulous. So it's more so just what's going to be the quickest and easiest. And I think it's just going to be carrots. I think we're just going <laughs> to... I think we're just going to get carrots. And we're just going to grow them in a uh, botany pot. How's that sound? Yeah. 
let's give that a shot. Cool. Okay, well, I don't know about you guys, but I am oddly excited to get this up and running. Um, because I I feel like it's going to be quite quite simple and it's going to be quite powerful and I've never done this before, so it's exciting. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, so the first things first is... Oh, the stallion. Um, is probably the electrolytic separator. This guy's going to, of course, need some stuff. We'll grab some... I don't know. If, I don't actually know if we need anything. Place this here. Let's go ahead and go to the fluid pipes. I was... Hmm. I was going to use this stuff. Are we about to get there or does it not show up still? Hold on. Look at that. It just bypasses them. I will say, what one thing I noticed um, is that in here, it says this item cannot be used from storage. It explicitly says that. Um, and it only says it inside here, right? Which is a little bit odd. And the reason why I say it's a little bit odd is because if we go and just middle click, then it will actually select it. As you can see at my hotbar at the bottom. Hold on. Have I done that? Like if I press the button here to make it so that it says that on these, it's only mechanism stuff. But the, the point being is that like, why? <laughs> it works. You know, like... What am I missing there? Is that something I've done or is that just, is there a risk that I corrupt my entire world if I, if I place it using this? I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, this guy works. We don't want the oxygen. So we're going to dump that. Um, we do want power. So we're going to provide that guy with power. Um, we will go ahead and attempt to put in all these upgrades. So energy, speed. He doesn't take gas. That's okay. Cool. So yeah, cool. Hydrogen. <laughs> awesome. That is going into a PR. C, which will be right here. Um, we'll now need a gas pipe. <laughs> um, there we go. So that will boom. We will uh, open this guy up. Dark blue is hydrogen. So dark blue will output out the front. There we go. So hydrogen goes in here. Cool. This guy needs water as well. So what we'll do is we'll just bring that over there. We can go ahead and disconnect that. Cool. So this guy's got water. He's got hydrogen. Um, he probably just needs power at this point. Doesn't let you middle click power for some reason. That's okay. So he's got power. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, the power will go on the side because obviously I want a uh, botany pot on top. He doesn't take gas. Good to know. Um, botany pot. Cool. Then we need a carrot. <laughs> awesome. And then we need a dirt. Uh, or a farmland. I'm pretty sure we can use a farmland. And if I put like a, a an absolutely awesome piece of farmland on here, I think it... I think it's pretty good, right? Like it increases the growth rate, possibly. Right click it, check in here, 1.35 times speed. Oh, you scared them. Okay, <laughs> everything's fine. All right, boom. Let me just need a, how do we not have one? That's crazy. Farmland, boom, boom, boom. Cool, so you go in there, um, you go in there and now it will grow carrots. They will instantly deposit in here. Hopefully we don't get anything else. According to this, we're just going to get carrots, okay? We're just going to get carrots. Nothing else. I guess I can also just double check, because um, we may as well. 1.3, 0 0.5, 1.25. You know what I mean? Like, see if there's a even better one. We've got the 3.5. What else we got? Boom, 1, 1.2. Cool, yeah, we're good. You know what, what we haven't made yet? Um... These guys, <laughs> logistical uh, transporters. Transporters? Yeah, cool. Let's, um, we may as well do a little bit of mechanism fun here. Let's go, bam, there we go. So this guy's going to pull items out of the front. So we'll go items, output the front, input the top. That should all be good. So the carrots, it made a carrot. Hmm. <laughs> You're really not gonna, no, you don't go in there, do you? No. Oh God, hold on. What do I need? I need the opposite of this. Hold on, yeah, hold, hold, hold. Everyone hold, hold. Hold on, that goes there. This extracts, this goes in, and this guy gets the hopper botany pot with the carrot in this. And then these carrots go in there. Yep, and he starts. I obviously give him power as well as um, the upgrades. So you go boom, boom. And this guy obviously doesn't take anything else, but there we go. So hold on. 
Yeah, he's good. <laughs> you are going to output behind, which works, right? You're going to input at the front. Yep, there we go. Biofuel. That makes substrate. Makes ethylene. The substrate, I need to void. So that will get voided down below, I believe. We will go um, trash can. Boom. Open this guy up. Items, output, bottom, auto eject. So there we go. Cool. We can just cover that up, I'm sure. Uh, then the items from this, or sorry, the gas from this goes into another PRC. I know that we could probably have these right next to each other and just like auto eject, but I, I, I like the visuals of uh, the gases and stuff moving, so that'll be fine. Um, oh, sorry. Gases, output left. There we go. This guy, um, gases, input right. So we, ha we have ethylene. Beautiful. Now what we can do as well is we can um, bring this back over. Cool. So there's water. There's ethylene. Excellent. <laughs> Um. Yeah, and that and that's and that's it. I just need this to run twenty four seven. So, what I need is just more of this, right? Um. <laughs> so what what do we what do we reckon? Because I could just set up a bunch of botany pots, but that, I mean that just seems a little bit dumb. Um. Let's consult this again. So we make this by yeah. We need biofuel. That's what we need the most of. There is a biofuel section. I was wondering if it would tell me like the best way to do it. You know what I mean? Like, it would be like, yeah, you should have done blah, blah, blah. You know? Um, okay. Uh, biofuel. What do you reckon? Sugarcane, not a bad idea. Like, I've got a lot of sugarcane, I think. You can put pretty much anything from a tree in here. So I could have the botany pot to a tree. Like, that. that's, that's not a horrible idea, I think. Even like the leaves get processed. I think the wood gets processed as well. Maybe not the wood. In which case, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> you do flowers, obviously. Okay. Um. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, hold on. Already, like, we've got 1,000 ethylene. How much do we need for this? We need only 100 for six. Like, I think we might just be fine as it is. <laughs> We're probably not, but, like, the, the, the point being that, you know... In our magical world, we could be. So, there we go. This guy's good. He's obviously going to then output into another one. Um, so, we will go... Uh, what are we going to do? We need both to go forward. So, we need the item to go forward. And we need the gas that it creates to also go forward. So, we'll set this guy to extract. Maybe I'll set them all to extract. Just so that we can have a nice visual of which direction everything's going. I think that's nice. I know you can put one that pushes it in, but it looks a little bit goofy. Uh, cool. Did we do this already? Nope. We have now. Cool. So this is the final one. This is what's going to receive um, gases from the left. It is going to receive items from behind. And then it will output the item above, I believe. That's, I think that's how we're going to do it. Uh, we will also need to bring uh, Wither Skulls over here. What's the best way to do that, do you think? <laughs> Uh, honestly, it's probably just entangling this thing back at the base. Or even... Do we have anything over here that's close enough? I know we've got stuff in here that we can use. So maybe we'll just... I don't know. Maybe we'll just slap it up here. <laughs> Alright, let's go... Hold on. Hold the, hold your horses. Do I not have... Um, didn't I? What's going on? What happened to... I swear we had entangled blocks in here. Am I just... No, we do have intent. I don't know. Weird, but anyhow. So that's there. Let's grab an exporter. We don't need to be too crazy. I think just a stack upgrade would be good enough. So exporter, stack upgrade with a skeleton skull. And that should do the trick. Uh, we're attaching it from the... I can't even see my thing. From the west, I believe. The west face. So what I may have to do on this guy is tell him... Oh, no, it's already working. That's fine. I was going to say I might have to specify the... Uh, input, but that's okay. Where are we? Uh, power, power, cool. This guy also has power, awesome. Everything is ready to go, except I entangled the wrong machine. I was meant to entangle that one. It's fine. <laughs> Listen, it happens to the best of us. Uh, boom, cool. Now let's just quickly empty this guy. Bam. Okay, you ready? 
Okay. I need to specify the outputs. Items will output at the front. Gases will output at the left. We have neutron gas available. The items are not outputting at the front just yet. Okay. The items are available for input. Neutron gas is available. What's going on here? Neutron gas and the, and the inert star should go into this guy. And then we just need water. This guy's fine. He's still doing his thing. He makes inert, yeah, cool. That doesn't help. Okay. Does this guy just need water? Is he like a little bit confused? Cause he's, he's like, ah, oh, just need some water guys. Um, and how do I easily get the water there? Ah, it's going to look goofy regardless, isn't it? I should have placed it off to the side. <laughs> ah, hindsight. Um, look at that. That solves that problem, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, so what's going on? Um, this guy has neutron gas. He has water. And according to that, this is water. Even, yeah, see, water, neutron gas, inert nether star, Let's um, let's grab these out and see if they go in there manually. They do. Okay. These are mechanical pipes instead of logical transporters. <laughs> that would uh, that would do it. That would completely and utterly do it. Let's go ahead and set that to extract. Cool. So as you can see, this is going to make a lot more of this uh Nether Star stuff. This will then. I think if I just grab a dimensional chest. Oh, no, no, sorry, because I need to get it to go into this guy, don't I? What's the best way to do that, do you think? What I could do <laughs> is I could place the, the power here, and then we could just run a cable over to it. Um, I'm probably going to need at least one more of these. All right, but we'll make um, a few more. There we go. Cool. There we go. Awesome. And there we go. Cool. So I'm attempting to get it over here. And I'm thinking that I'm going to do it like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're setting that to pull. Oh, and there it goes. So that's going to come over here. And that's just going to instantly turn it into a nether star ready to, ready to go. <laughs> okay. And then if I grab a dimensional chest, this is uh, the right one, yeah? Yep, you can see all my stuff going through there. I'm pretty sure that's right. Then I just need to place it here, for example. Right? And then have this guy output... I think that might even be the front. No, that's not working. Um, hold on. I think that's the back. So I think I need to say this one is output. There we go. Cool. So in terms of nether stars, if we go back over here... The rate at which we are now getting nether stars, if we sit and watch, should be better. <laughs> Honestly, it's hard to say. So, I, I mean, I clearly need this to, well, for starters, to work. Output at the top. Logistical transporter. Oh, I scared myself for a second. Logistical transporter. This one should be input at the front. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Makes a fun little sound. Um, sweet. So currently that's working. This guy obviously could do with being faster. That's, um, clearly a thing. Oh, uh, no, I, I thought it actually went in because it, it did that. Um, yeah, he's, he's just too slow. This guy, this guy, yeah. Okay. So there's clearly, clearly there's a few things. <laughs> Let's go, uh, Bodney Pot. Let's grab out all seven. Um, let's search... What am I searching? Insanium. And let's order seven of these so that we can make all the farmland. Um, we'll obviously grab out some carrots. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, how do I want to do this? Uh, we, we could just do melon. Do we have melon seeds lying around? Like, maybe we just do that. Let's just, let's just do melons. So let's do that. Uh, I'll need eight for that guy, obviously. We'll need a sawmill, I believe is the, the one that they use. A precision sawmill. 
So we'll get one of those built. See if it actually uh, ends up working. And you can upgrade this. Cool. I wasn't quite sure if you could. Awesome. That's some of the stuff we need. Cool. Get it to elite come on, or ultimate. Bam. Cool. Yeah, so that, go that guy's ready. Awesome. We'll clear up a little area down here. So we'll have the soaring factory here. Uh, we will set this guy to just be these pipes, I think. And we'll do a nice setup like this. That should be fine. Place our pots on top. We'll stop this for now. There we go. Place the pot on top. Cool. What are these? Onion seeds and stuff. Wonderful. Uh, cool. And then if we search Insanium, we have the seven available. Awesome. Let's go ahead and chuck this in here. Let's grab back that wooden hoe. And power, we've got eight total. And so I'm just going to put one of each in here. I'll obviously have to then set up the, um, what do you call it? The extracts on all of them, that should be fine. I don't think we have to do anything super fancy for that. They already look max grown. Maybe they grow quicker than I thought. So we'll set up all of these to extract. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. They'll go in, in this guy. He will uh, input from behind. He's going to output out the front. Obviously, I'm going to put some upgrades in. We'll sort him. Give him some power. What? Why did that go? Why did that? I think I hit the inside of that part there. Either way, that's okay. Boom. Cool. Oh, there's lots of uh, output. Cool. Yeah, so they're pretty much done now, right? And then they should go pop. Right? Because I don't see them growing. <laughs> I think they should. And then we will... Boom, 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 boom. And then we'll do that. Eh? I, I won't lie, I'm a little bit concerned by the lack of them doing anything. I guess maybe they're ripening. <laughs> oh, there we go. And in they pop. And then in they go here. Okay, so we could do with a pipe upgrade at the very least uh, in this guy for extracting. There we go. And so this is currently how much stuff we've got. That should all be going in here. This guy's got plenty. This guy's actually able to run consistently, which is pretty cool. So that guy's making one a second. So if we, if this guy's too slow, which he kind of is a little bit, what we could do Ah, uh, you know what? He's, he's not. I think we just need more of these, to be honest. Because if this is going at one a second, and each time it makes one of these, it makes enough to make 16, then we've already got the 16 a second. I just need to be able to process this stuff faster, um, which I think we can do. There's also hydrogen there that we're going to have to get rid of somehow. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll grab a chemical tank. Um, <laughs> sure, we'll get the really cool chemical tanks. We do not need them. But uh, we might as well. We can afford to. We'll chuck this here. This will go here. Side. Uh, gas. Output below. So the hydrogen's now in here. And we will do dump access. Cool. So. What next? Well. Um, I'm going to bring out a timer. And we'll, and we'll figure this out. So let's go. Or a stopwatch, sorry. So the second that this one's done, you ready? Boom. That was roughly three seconds. Okay. So, I think I just need three of these. Let's go PRC. Uh, sorry, let's go pressurized this. So, I think I need two more. This should work. <laughs> this is... Trust me, guys. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm something of a genius myself. Um, and now, we just need to replicate this setup for all of them, which is where it gets a little bit messy in terms of how to get all the stuff to connect. What I can do, I suppose, is this. And then this. And then we can disconnect that, which is fine. Then I just need these item pipes to go over there. What I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably switch to just normal pipes, I think, from the pipes mod. They are just a little bit nicer with the upgrades. But that will go there. We can obviously make sure that stuff's not connected. That should be fine. Um, cool. So yeah, he's already got the nether stars. He just needs, obviously, the gas to... Except, so that's going to be the right side will be an input for gas. There we go. 
He needs water as well. <laughs> Not a problem, mate. There you go. He's got water. He's got power. Just needs a good old couple of upgrades. And there we go. He's good. The items will output at the top. We'll obviously set this to uh, extract. And we're on a roll. So, how's this guy going? Can he keep up? So far, it looks like yeah, he's perfectly fine with doing it. Sure. Um, and that's good. So, what I do want is I want a pipe upgrade in here. Oh, I want it to extract as well. But we want to do a round robin. We want it to be split evenly. I believe this pipe splits evenly. So that, sh that side should be fine. Regardless, it's running 24-7, so I think it will be okay. And then we'll place this here and try to do the same sort of thing. So we'll do that. Obviously, just keep doing that. So I'm go to extract. Nice and easy. <laughs> Not a problem. Boom, boom, boom. That's okay. Open that up. And then run this guy down there. Cool. So, gases uh, input from the left. Items input from behind. Output out the top. And I think that's just fine. I think this guy should get his fair share of stuff. There's hydrogen in the pipes. Um, because this guy's input output, we only want him to be input. Um, the output will be below. Uh, did I just change the wrong thing to, yeah, I changed the wrong thing. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. The gases will output below. Right? Huh. Um, the gases will output below. That will be all inputs. Are we good then? Well, obviously I've got to get rid of this hydrogen, <laughs> but then are we good? I think we might be. Let's see. Hydrogen's in there, and now I think we're just good to go. I don't think hydrogen can get in there anymore. Well, obviously you have to wait and see. Speed upgrades, energies, that's fine. So that's now running well. Um, the only thing left, I believe, is to place these guys underneath. Obviously, set these to dump excess. Make sure that it is outputting gas below. Auto eject is on. This guy, gas is below. Auto eject on. And set this guy to dump excess. And I, I believe we're good. Plenty of water. Um, this guy is actually too fast at the moment. But I think it's okay. Everything is running, which is good. Um, yeah. What we could do. <laughs> Is like we could send this extra stuff into the system. That is an option. It is available. Um, or we could just scale it upwards. So currently, if I go one, two, three, four, not perfect. But insane that it's doing more than 16 sometimes. Those tire see that? Oh, I think we're good. So if I go nether star currently, and we watch this, I mean that's pretty good. Compared to what it was. Look at that number going up. 7, 7, 80, 96, 612, 620, 644, 680. <laughs> That's pretty good. And the, we're like, we're not even, the, the thing is, we're beginning to push on our actual production of antimatter. As you can see, this number's going down. Slowly, but surely, it is going down. So we will be limited to that roughly one a second um, for the antimatter. Unless we change something. So the polonium is the only thing needed to change currently. The polonium is made here. No. The polonium is in the pipe. The polonium is made here. That guy makes the polonium. And apparently we have enough nuclear waste that we could just slap down another solar neutron activator. And this will allegedly double our production? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> so if I slap this guy down, I think like this... Is it that simple? If I just doubled my production, now we've got 108 in there instead of 54. And now this guy should be climbing again. Uh, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Yeah, cool. Okay, we can, we can double this entire setup if we would like. I will say, um, it's not the best in terms of like, the layout here for expandability. It's quite gross. I definitely need to fix it. 
yeah, I mean, that's all I've got for you is that I, d I definitely need to fix it. Um, how do we want to go about doing that? So th the problem is we use so many sides of it that I I've got two ideas. <laughs> One involves just using universal pipes because that literally can move everything, meaning I can input the water, the um, gas from this and the item from this all in the one pipe. And does that not sound just infinitely better than whatever this current mess is? I, I think so. Um, and then I can just have that one go all the way up. We can have power all on one side and then outputs all on the other side. And we can just go vertical. That's That sounds perfect to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this machine off. <laughs> we'll, ah, it's, it's kind of messy because we've got a bunch of gas in one of them and not in the other. Maybe I can just move these around, clean out all the gas. <laughs> ah, this, ah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like we're not really wasting anything because it's going to be an infinite process. So I, it doesn't matter too much, I, I guess. Um, all right, let's go ahead and pick up this. And then let's um, ulti mine all of this. Get all these picked up. Cool. Nice and tidy. Um, I'm going to break this. And I'm going to pick these guys up. This is, once again, it might be a little bit messy just for a little bit. But it's, a, it's an investment, okay? Um, we are then going to pick up all of these pipes. Cool. And we're going to pick up those. Awesome. Um, and then we can also pick up these because they're not connected as well. Cool. All right, we've got everything on us. We are allegedly just about ready to go. Um, so one side will be all the inputs. One side will be... I guess, yeah, we can do power on that side as well. Yeah, so one side is just going to be everything um, for the inputs. The other side will be power. I think I will... Uh, we, I mean, yeah, but, yeah, sorry. I, I keep forgetting. We can do power. <laughs> we can do everything. We are invincible. Um, so, let's go universal cables, cool. This will connect here, and this will be set up to extract. We can go ahead and turn this guy back on, so we'll leave him it ignored. So, they should be getting the nether stars, which they are. They should also be getting the gas. So let's go on the side config, go gas, and have it output out the front. So the gas and the everything is being output at the front. This guy, I'm gonna put this in and make it round robin, cool. The round robin should apply for all of them, which is awesome. Um, next up, we're going to search ender cell. We're going to grab a nitron one. We're going to hook it up here. And you guessed it, we're going to put some pipe upgrades in. I have a feeling we'll need a few, so let's get them already on us. Might as well. Boom. Boom. Pow. Cool. Uh, round robin as well, but it's just power, so it doesn't necessarily matter as much. They're all good. Then we just need water. So you guessed it, I'm just going to bring a sink over here. Slap him down as well. Set him up to extract, boom, round robin as well. Cool, nice. So they've all got water. They've all got their neutron gases. Um, yeah, the only thing left is more PRCs and an extract for the um, the other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get seven more just so that we have a nice 10. I don't know, feels like a nice number. I probably should do multiples of three since that's what we've worked out. Like three is to one of those solar neutron activators. So maybe, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we will just do like multiples of three because then I can much, I, I can track it a lot easier. Um, we'll do nine then. That, that seems, that seems doable. So boom, oh, boom. I'll have to grab the uh, configuration card as well for these guys. That'll make it a lot easier, I think. And boom, cool. Although I might not need to. Let's see, so. All of these get water. That's kind of it. <laughs> um, are they set up? They're not set up to do the right stuff. Okay, so let's let's configure this bottom one to be perfect. We want the items to input from behind and we want them to output at the left. Perfect. Um, the energy, all inputs. The fluids, all inputs. The gases, all inputs. Oh, actually, no, we'll just have input from the back and then we'll have it output out the right and we'll have it auto eject on. Cool. Um, is that how we want to do it? You know what? Maybe we'll do gas output out the front. Just so that it doesn't accidentally connect there. Awesome. Now let's go configuration card from mechanism. We'll shift right click on this guy and then right click on the rest of these. 
And as you can see, the nether stars are already being placed into some of these. So it's working. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Do I have gas pipes in here? I do. So all of these guys. This is where, honestly, I should probably just do um, mechanism ones. Because they auto extract. Um, like I don't have to set each of these to extract. As you can see, they fill up with hydrogen as is. So it just makes it a little bit easier to do this part of things. Uh, hydrogen tank can go at the bottom. And dumping excess should be fine. Cool. Okay. So, are we done? <laughs> Great question. This guy, he's, he's good. He's got plenty of ethylene at the moment. I don't know how long that ethylene will last, but it seems to be fine for now. Um, these guys just need their extract, which... Um, honestly, I'm going to switch them to pipes as well. Ah. Hmm. Did I do... I, did, I didn't do auto-eject. Let's do auto-eject for items. I don't really know if we need to, but I'm going to. And we will use those uh, logistical transporters. Just because it's probably going to be easier than... Um, making every single one extract. You know what I mean? So if I do this... Here we go. There you go. This is all of them running at once. This is um, a decent amount of nether stars being created. Our antimatter is kind of, yeah, yeah. We're, we're definitely losing it, I think. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, that's uh, a surprisingly easy fix. Let's get a bunch of these. I'll probably won't place them all, but we'll just have them available. Um, we want to be very careful again. These are radioactive. If I break one, we could have a big disaster happen. Um, so yeah, we want to be a little bit careful, both in terms of where we're placing them and in terms of like for expandability. So I think we're good because we placed some out here preemptively. So I can place solar neutron activators all along here if need be. We've still got cat. What happened to red sheep? Do we still have red sheep? I'm not liking the blood splatters everywhere. <laughs> what happened to... What happened to fan favorite, fan favorite, fan favorite red sheep? Where was, is fan favorite red sheep gone? No way. Oh, guys, <laughs> how disappointing. The fan favorite. Ah, oh. oh, oh, the beast lives. <laughs> what a, what a cliffhanger, what a, ah, oh, what a twist. All right, cool. <laughs> Awesome. The, yeah, cool. Everything's good. All right, cool. So we've got solar neutron activators. Uh, let's go ahead and slap these guys down. I placed that the wrong way. Luckily, it does not have polonium in it. I can break it. And we haven't been irradiated. <laughs> Allegedly. Cool. So we'll go there. Awesome. This guy can go there. Cool. That can go there. This can go there. That can go there. This can go there. Awesome. So far, so good. The only problem is I now need to run pipes to connect these guys. Now, this guy's full. This guy's empty. That could end horribly, to be honest. Um, it, it, it actually is very, very bad. I need something to block that off. Do mechanism, does mechanism have a facade? Uh, or a cover? What is that? I thought I saw... No. Um, they, have a, they have a tool that can do it. I think. Uh, mecha tool, no. No. Pretty sure mechanism has a way to do it. It's just a bit of a mystery as to which one it is. It's none of these. <laughs> okay. It's not this plastic. Uh, it's not a holtrum. Okay. It's not there. Uh, well, that's a problem. Okay, here's what I'll do. I've, I've, I've figured it out. We're going to disconnect this, meaning this pipe is now empty and not radioactive. Brilliant. <laughs> so let's go ahead and break it and bring it down a little bit. And we will uh, we'll connect it through here. So we'll do that. Okay, that's fine. That should be A-OK. -okay. Awesome. Um, then what I should... Oh, actually, no. No, it's still not good. Hold on. There's still polonium in here. 
Is it coming from here? I'm not sure. All right, there is no polonium in here. You know, what? I might even just, just to make sure. Okay, no polonium in here. I'm gonna bring this down and down. We do not want the pipes to connect. We don't want to cross the streams. We go here and do that. Cool. Now we're good. Now I should be able to connect these like so to provide the um, nuclear waste. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. We have a lot of nuclear waste uh, courtesy of these guys. <laughs> these guys are just working overtime now. They've actually uh, gone through their buffer, which is, I guess, a little bit concerning. Because, yeah, we are draining now. Um, this guy is full of polonium. So he is limited only by power currently. And he's using 100 mil per tick. So this guy's still running? Yeah, this guy's still running. This guy... He's making 100 mil per tick. <laughs> Very nice. And this is with an, in it, an injection rate of 2? Is that correct? Or does it not matter because we're just putting it in as fast as we can make it? Either way, I don't know. We're, we're doing pretty good in terms of making nether stars, I think. Um, the antimatter is rising rapidly, which is awesome. So I think we'll have a buffer for when it uh, stabilizes. Um, these guys here... Their only problem is the neutron gas isn't split up evenly. Um, but even in saying that... Uh, yeah. Oh, they don't have speed up. Oh my god, they don't have speed upgrades. Oh my god. <laughs> this changes everything. We've been living in slow mode. Alright, hold on. Boom. Oh my god. You guys, are, you guys aren't ready for this. You guys are not ready for the, the true potential. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. They've all got speed upgrades now. They're now going incredibly fast. Um, I'll tell you what. We might actually switch because I think these only pull 64 at a time. So I believe what we would have to do here. And, and this, this. Oh, I'm actually. It's sickening how smart I am. It's, it's almost scary. You know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this place a chest the chest orders all of it every last drop and then we just have one extract pipe with one upgrade in it and there you go <laughs> that's i mean that's your that's your nether stars happening right there <laughs> that's pretty good it's actually it's draining the power that is ridiculous um to be fair we had a big backlog oh but we're barely getting through it all right Let, well, i think we need a flux point i think we actually do Ooh. Do you hear that system behind me stop working? Do we... <laughs> uh... Oh, night time. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That makes sense. The polonium stops making itself. Um, I, I can't afford a flux point at the moment, so we're just going to have to... This can't even keep up. Oh my god. <laughs> what do I do? You know what? No, no, this is false. That, that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> We'll have, to, we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, entangled block over here. Entangled there. And then... Um, let me surround the faces. How's that for power? Alright, we're gaining power again. <laughs> we're good, we're good. The poor man's flux point has been used. Um, cool! The lazy man's flux point, I guess, is the better. Okay, so nether stars. Um, whoa, okay, that went up very fast. We needed, how much did they say? Where is it? We need 98,415. Don't stress it. I've got you covered. That is awesome. That is, um, I would say, the best way to get nether stars. Now, you know, little bit of <laughs> a little bit of setup is required to get there. As se This is honestly one of our most beautiful areas we've ever built. And we've barely built any... Like, we've built one building and one fun little... I guess we've done, like, the pipes. I think the pipes have added so much to this build. I think if we actually built a structure around these things, like, if we build something around there, something around these things, oh, this, this, this could be, like, the best thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm, I absolutely adore my mechanism area, and I'm very happy. This is, like, a... 
the perfect fitting um, build here. We still have an issue where not all of these guys are getting their neutron gas reliably. We do have it, round robin. Um, but I think we could also benefit from a second one of these. The only problem is if you look at this guy, this guy's working one to one, so we would also need a second um, pressurized reaction chamber here. But I think it's fine. I think we can do that. Um, but the, the main point is we do not need to. <laughs> that's the cool part. All right, so yeah, that's awesome. We've done it. We've got a. We made what we want. We made what we want. Um, as for the thumbnail, I don't actually know. I do not know. Because I almost feel like just this, you know what I mean? Just a good, if I get a good screenshot where they're both on the screen. Like maybe if I, what do you reckon? Maybe if we turn that off for a second, get a little bit of build up. <laughs> then, uh, that's a nice, that's a nice thumbnail, I think. Here we go, let's chuck that in there. Let's, uh, yeah, cool. One of those would be good. Sweet. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. We, uh, we've almost got the star. I, I do plan to do some more, um, stuff once we get the star. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, by the way, you guys need to start hitting me with ideas as to where we invest our first ATM star. Obviously, it's very tempting to just save it up. Save it up. Get myself an ATM star block. Get myself a starry bee and then save up a second ATM star and get myself just farming bees. Sure, of course that's tempting. The the problem is, um, like that's still exhausting. <laughs> like, that's still ridiculous. That's a crazy amount of stuff. Um, oh, hold on. What's going on here? Oh no, there's two ingredients. Okay, set for life. Enough to make everything in the pack. If you make nine stars or enough to make an ATM star block, you'll be able to create a starry bee. This bee gives you ATM star shards um, from their combs. Oh, and they also need another ATM star block for their flower. Simple enough. The thing is, right, if I've got 18 ATM stars, like if, I, if I'm at the point where I'm automating them that fast, do I really need more? As in, like, do I need an, a bee to do it? Obviously at that... Oh my Obviously, at that point, it's, um... <laughs> I've seen one of these when we were checking our bases. These are very cool. Um, obviously, it's fun to do, but it's more so, like... Do we need to? Does the Patrick B... The Patrick B uses an ATM star block. <laughs> Someone was telling me yonks ago how to get a Patrick B. I don't think they're quite as, um... Useful. What's happening here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But, like... <sighs> Like, sure. Like, that, like that's cool. <laughs> but, like, the bee... Like, you can fish the bee up. But... You need to start it doing... Man! Yeah, it's rough. Lots of work to do. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully you're having fun uh, watching the series, obviously. Um, thank you, of course, to our donators and our channel members. Thank you to our Tier 3 channel members. Let's, let's double-check the list. Here we go. There's the... Let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, thank you to our tier three channel members, Melizzy and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you guys. Um, once again, for any channel members, past, present, future, thank you very much. You do not need to. Don't feel pressured to by any means. The videos will happen regardless. We are a small channel, but the, the videos are gonna happen pretty much infinitely unless something crazy takes up all my time. But like, it's, it's that'll be out of our control. So thank you, but make sure you focus on your own family first, obviously. Um, and we have some new members or old members rejoining. Uh, where are we? Sven the One, um, Godly Ghost King, and James Rodriguez, welcome back. Um, thank you. And once again, if anything changes, don't feel pressured um, to, to cancel it or, or whatnot. Um, completely on you guys. Thank you. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm the, I like this system. Has anyone... Did anyone else know that you could do this? <laughs> like, obviously, it's in the pack, but, like... I feel like it just kind of snuck in there. Very cool. Alright, yeah. Sweet. Goodbye.